The following program was produced by students from Drexel University's Department of Cinema and Television. For more information, visit drexel.edu slash westfall. Sunshine. Martin Cowboy. Whoa! Oh no. Uh, yes. How'd everybody sleep, huh? Well, it's gonna be a good day. See what the fuss is all about. You have your own room. Yeah, but your bed's bigger. Hey, Nick, you should get up, man. It's a really beautiful day, and I need to borrow something. Hello. That's, that's not what you think. What are you doing? Dean, I want you to meet the love of my life, Regan. Regan? Regan. <laughs> Good for you. Do you think she's prettier than us? I love people in love. He must have gotten her drunk or drugged her. Stop. Don't you believe in true love? No, because I'm a rational human being. Hey, Felix. What you doing? Playing video games. Aww. What do you think you're doing? I'm in love, Dean. People in love don't think. They just feel, and I feel hungry. Was someone making breakfast? Let me get this straight. You met this girl at a bar, right? What'd you know her for? Three hours? Two, two magical, two, two beautiful <sighs> hours. Come on, man. Listen. Hey, I know you. I know you. All I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with taking baby steps here. All right, there's no point in getting attached too much too soon. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think it's kind of sweet. How did you get here? I mean, I'd prefer if you didn't sleep in my bed anymore. Well, but for what it's worth, I believe in love at first sight. Hmm. Would you have like a job to go to or something? It's Saturday. I guess that's easy to forget, you know, when you don't have a job. All right, both of you, please just stop. I am now in a state of perpetual joy, and none of your negativity is going to change that. I've never felt like this before about anyone in my life. She almost makes me want to become a well-adjusted person or whatever. I think she might be the one. The one? Yes. What about the five other ones? Huh? Did you forget about them already? Yes. Oh, yeah. Anybody hungry? Mm. I made you pancakes. No, I already ate. I'm stuffed. Uh. <laughs> no, we're gonna sit at the table like uh. real people. Uh. Nick joining us. She seems nice. She seems nice. I'm nice too. Oh, did you see that? I'm scared. That was gross. That was disgusting. Oh. <sighs> They are so sweet. Sweet? That's, that was sweet. This is sweet when oh, you can... let me feed you your pancakes. I want Ooh. milk and honey. Stop, it's cute. It's not cute. cute? Yes, it is. Talking about cute, that is not cute. All right, this is part of a vicious cycle right here. Are you kidding me? Felix finds girl, falls in love with girl, gets dumped by girl. Dean comforts and heals Felix. Oh, so this is about you and not Felix. What? No, first of all, Haley, don't be a butt. 
All right, and second of all, I've known Felix a lot longer than you have. I am not gonna let this happen again. Look, I need to figure out a way to break the both of them up before this gets crazy. But it's been a day. Give the girl a chance. You're right. You're right. Look, if she really likes Felix for who he is, mm -hmm. and I hope she does, then we have nothing to worry about. But if she doesn't, she's gone. Guys, I'm just trying to think of good names for when Regan and I have kids. What do you think about Feligan or Regalix? Feligan for the boy, obviously, Regalix for the girl, huh? I hope you have twins. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's okay. You do realize that's hairspray, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, I... I know, I just, uh, I like how it feels. You've got great hair, you know? I bet it would look so good if you wore it down. Can I try? See, if you put it up like this, and just go like that, see? I like it. Haley, I need your help. <sighs> Do you think Reagan would be freaked out if I told her that Felix killed his last girlfriend? Are we still doing that? Your hair looks really pretty. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't we be? Uh, have you met her? Talked to her? I don't fraternize with the enemy. Fine, do what you want. Don't count on me for any help. Oh, so you're okay with this girl stomping over his poor, fragile heart? No, but I think that maybe this once, you should let Felix protect himself. Fine, abandon me. We'll see who Felix thanks in the end. Bye, Dean. True. Have you seen my keys? Ooh. I think I have an idea to get rid of Reagan. What if my dad cut me off? Uh, your dad cut you off? No. no. Oh, please. No. <laughs> God, Where did no. I put them? What if I say my dad cut me off? I don't understand. All right, look. Felix doesn't have any money. Okay? Uh, Felix can't get any money off of Dean. Then that means Reagan's gone. I don't know. Maybe you should consider talking to Felix about it first. Give him a chance to do it himself. Good idea, Claire. I know that... Felix is your best friend, but you know, you can't protect him from everything, okay? Uh, hey, where are you going? Just down to the park. That's right, you are playing today. <laughs> See you in an hour? You're coming? I will be there. <laughs> okay. Hey, you, Felix, you, Dean! What oh. are you doing? Reagan told me to clean my room. You call this cleaning? I don't know, I've never done it before, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. It's kinda... Come here, I need you to help with something. For the wedding registry, what do you think for the food processor? Tahiti blue or flamingo pink, huh? You're already filling out a wedding registry? It is never too early to start planning for your future. Are you too wrapped up in this lovey-dovey fantasy world of butterflies and KitchenAids to see what actually is gonna happen here? I love you. You know that. Look, no woman will ever love you the way that I do. Dean. I never knew you felt this way before. Huh? No, idiot. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. You're confusing me. Well, you should probably should have figured that out in college. Man, no, I'm trying to, what I'm telling you right here is coming from the heart. Man, this could save you. I think you should cut it off. No, I, I don't think you're giving her a fair chance. You just gotta get to know her. She, if you get to know her, you'll find out you really like her. You both like horses. How do you know that she feels the same way about you? I don't have to know. I feel it. All right, you're obviously impaired. So I wanna take the adult role here. Ugh. In the future, just remember to thank me. I will. If I'm understanding you correctly, you're saying go with the flamingo pink. Oh, oh, oh man. Tahiti blue. Tahiti blue it is.
Ah, oh, so you're playing here. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's the first time I've ever played in the park before, well, so this, I mean... This is my park. Well, we can play together. I've seen your kind come and go. But I'm here every single day. You want to play with me? Let's see what you got. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Just one sec. Um. <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. Again, that's the person I wanted to talk to. Really? You wanted to talk to me? Yeah. Well, I figured we haven't talked, and since Felix is my best friend, you know, I thought we'd get to know each other a little bit better. I'd love to, but really, I gotta go drop these keys off with my bartender. Uh, well, thanks. Okay, well, maybe later, I guess. Unless, do you want to come with me? Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> hey. Hey. I thought you were playing today. Um, I already played my set. We missed it? We're looking forward to hearing you. I'll play another set. Okay. Great. Okay. I can really see for one song now. Okay. I gotta send it to you. Oh, you're back! Yeah, I am. Not bad, kiddo. Dean, I'm not trying to steal him from you. I never said that you were. Yeah, but you were thinking it. Soda? No, thank you. I think it's great that Felix has a new girl in his life. I really do. I mean, he needs happiness in his life, especially now. What do you mean? Oh, he didn't tell you? My father cut me off. I, uh, I used to pay both our rent. And uh, but now I, I don't even know how we're gonna survive. Oh, no, he didn't say anything. That doesn't surprise me. He's so brave, proud, a lion. Well, you could work here. Both of you. We can help you get back on your feet. Don't you need your boss's permission for something like that? <laughs> I am the boss. My dad left me this place two years ago. You own a bar. You own... This bar. Wow. We'd love to have you. Well, that's nice, and it's a very friendly gesture. Uh, but I don't know how my father would react to his son working at such a blue-collar establishment. No offense. Well, who's he to care? Because Felix has not told you I happen to be the, the son of the great Donald Saberhagen. What's this, Uber Hagen? Are you serious? Yeah. It turns out Cole was a really nice guy. Can you believe that? You were great. I mean, I had no idea. I thought that guy was going to have a heart attack. God, I wish I could do that every day. You should. I mean, if it makes you happy, you should keep doing it. Yeah, I should. You have to take care of yourself, too. Mm. There you go. So this place is all yours, huh? Yep. It's been crazy. Do you like it? Yeah, I really do. It's been great having something that's all your own, you know? Yeah. Oh! oh! You all right? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Why did I hire you? Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, 
get off the bar. Your grandchildren are watching this. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's so funny? I uh, just a joke. Yeah, I'll tell you later. You two are friends now. What a delightful surprise. She is great, Felix. Oh, I thought you. No, you stop. <laughs> oh, both of you stop. <laughs> so, you ready to uh, play that video game now? Yeah. Oh, ready for some hardcore video game fantasy killing action. I yeah. would really love to, but I have to study. Check it out. Reagan's gonna hire me as one of her bartenders. <laughs> Do you know she owns a bar? You own a bar? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Okay, uh, maybe later then. That's all right, Felix. I know, we'll clean the apartment. Cleaning? I got dibs on vacuuming. What's cleaning? Oh, come on. Have fun. Claire, I found the book that I'm actually gonna fin- Claire. Look. It, it's fine. I no, didn't- it, It's fine. So, bartending. I can see you. No, you can't. Why are you in my room? Because I'm hiding from Reagan. I don't want her to make me clean my room. Get out, please. No. Yes. No. Felix, there you are. You're not supposed to be cleaning Nick's room. You're supposed to be cleaning yours. Oh. Huh. Come on, Felix. Jasper. Jasper. Come on, buddy. I need you. Oh my god, you're the biggest waste of $11 I've ever spent. Hey, Felix. What's hey, up? Dean. So, have you, uh, you seen Reagan around? Reagan, Reagan, Reagan. Since when did you two become besties? <laughs> best friends? We're not best friends. Is that what she said? What's that? What's that smell? <sighs> Cologne. Reagan bought me this crap. Look at my cuticles. She cut them. She's trying to change me, man. I'm too perfect oh. to change. So, you guys gonna break up? She's just gonna have to learn to live without this beautiful piece of man meat, eventually. Is it just me or does it look different in here? Regan has been cleaning. Hey, Mr. Softskin, guess who's breaking up? Who? Who do you think, Felix and Regan? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I don't believe you. Where are you going? Where's she going? <laughs> this is good news. <laughs> hey. You're breaking up? We are. <sighs> but I thought you were in love. Yeah, about that. We talked and we both decided that we're just better off being friends. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the whole friends thing for now. Yeah, <laughs> some people are just meant to be friends. Yeah. <laughs> like the two of us. <laughs> don't, pl don't, don't touch me. She's a witness. Don't touch me. <laughs> but it's not domestic abuse anymore. Sweet. No. <laughs> I know. <laughs>
We need to talk. Okay. I'm serious. Really? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's that you have to ask when it's so painfully clear. Well, just tell me what's wrong because I'm not a mind reader. I know. Claire. I just don't think that this is working. What? Are you breaking up with me? Come on, guys, let's go to the bar. We're celebrating our breakup. <laughs> yeah. Go have a customer. Go. Here you go. No, Flo, over there, down there. The other. Another drink? It's on the house. Oh, I can tell this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yeah. Excuse me, ladies. Hi. Uh, you feeling all right? Do I not look okay? Oh, on the contrary, you look all kinds of okay. I just wanted to make sure you didn't hurt yourself when you fell from heaven. Hold that, please. Wow. Uh, I hate pickup lines. Oh, oh apparently. Oh, much better. Thank you. Hey, new guy. Hey. Nick, you look different today. Why does everyone keep saying? Hey. You okay? I'm fine. So how's everything with you and Dean? I have to get back to you on that. Oh, um, what does that mean that... I'm uh, sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Um, you know, I was just saying that if you ever need someone to talk to, you know where I live. Hey, Clareface! Oh, come on, have a drink with me. Um, I'd love to, but... Oh, oh, well, please, don't let me stop you. Definitely later. Any girl that finds Nick funny is definitely a keeper. Huh. Either that or morbid. <laughs> So, who's a lucky lady? That is none of your business. So, haven't you figured it out yet? When you live with us, everything is our business. Not everything. What do you mean by that? What are you doing in my bed? Again. Your bed is just really comfortable. I locked my door. <laughs> 